the exit and uh, miss out on the entry, but two different ways of driving around there. Bit of curb clipping and more curb. That was a seriously, seriously lucky escape. No, it wasn't. Oh. Ay, 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 that's a big impact, massive. Mike Brown, Mike Brown, uh, the, the car that Colin White was closing on there. So it will be a safety car with, for that, without a doubt. James Kelly, the leader. I was going back to the point about Tom Emson. Red flags being shown. Understandably, race will be brought to a halt just to make sure that everybody is OK. Um, going back to the point about Tom Emson, I was watching at Chicane yesterday, Paul. When, as you said about the first lap, with James Kellett being very, very quick off the line, he was yesterday and got into the lead very early doors, and he pulled away. Empson looking a little bit sharper. Empson's car didn't sound right yesterday. Sounded... Uh, I'm not great, I wouldn't know whether it was running on seven or not, but someone said it was running on seven cylinders, someone else said it was six, so V6 not quite as good as a V8. Okay. Um, so his was sounding rough, he was in third. Aston Miller was gunning yesterday, but James Kellett was smooth as you like. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. The, sometimes the traction control can soft cut the engine, right? And it can make it sound like it's misfiring. It just depends how much people are. Um, there's, there's a lot of cars going very fast here into Church Corner. Have they seen the reds? Have they seen the reds? We we don't see. To be fair, we don't see the flags, well, but they, they will see the lights. And from where I was watching yeah, yesterday, uh, with our assistant director Mark Cross, we were saying, well, I can't see any yellow flags, but you can see the yellow LEDs as a driver. So we not might not be able to see the flags waving, and we've got a very clear red flag on the start line. Yeah, well, that was what I was watching. I apologise to people at home because I can see a red flag that you can see in the middle of your screen now, out of the comms box. And you can um, see the red LED there on the Marshall's Post back of shot. I should just go back on board with uh, Ian Duggan, who's got some work to do. Yeah, the car's just on the left there. I mean, let's let's say what we see here, and that was that was a big accident. That was, was a nasty one, yeah. Yeah, let's just hope everybody's OK. You see the LED there? It's one of the smaller LEDs that you've got, just at the centre top of shot, but out on circuit, and you might be able to see it from some of the onboards that we have with Ian Duggan, but the... the LEDs are a lot crisper and a lot sharper for the drivers to see. That's easy enough to see, isn't it, on the left, that yep. uh, red flashing LED. Yep. That's something that is pretty new um, that uh, Toka and the circuits have brought in. MSV circuits have, have had it for a while um, and others are following suit, so it's... Um, yeah, it's good to it's good to see it's pretty visible. I was just concerned about the speed they were still showing out the back there, but it is Thruxton and going down one gear is only going to take about 10 mile an hour off you, so I'm sure uh, everybody was was playing the part in keeping it safe. So, yeah, on board with Ian Duggan. You can just see the cars just, they get lined up and they make sure that uh, they just take on board what the marshals say and we'll see what happens uh, in a short while. They will, talking of a short while. Probably a good opportunity to grab yourselves a, a tea and a bicky. Uh, so we're going to take a couple of moments away as we're under road flag conditions here. Please stay with us and rejoin us for the restart of...